Hi guys, welcome to Spirit Entrepreneur channel. On this channel we connect spirituality with entrepreneurship as we believe there are many like-minded people out there. We tell stories about great entrepreneurs, businesses and brands. You see, it works like that. Our mind loves stories. Our mind is built by stories actually. That's why we believe spiritual people should integrate and internalize those stories about great entrepreneurs. Those stories contain insights and clues about the process of creation and success itself. So let us begin. Today we will talk about Ferdinand Porsche. Fact number one. Ferdinand Porsche was born in 1875 in Mafesdorf. Back then it was Austria-Hungary. Today it is Czech Republic. He was third child in family. His father was one of the first who worked in the profession of repairing damaged bodies of automobiles. Ferdinand attended lectures at Vienna Polytechnic and the University of Technology. He didn't earn any diplomas there, he only went to gain knowledge. Only later these universities awarded him with honorary PhDs. After breakup of Austria-Hungary, he chose Czechoslovak citizenship and later Adolf Hitler neutralized him as German citizen. Fact number two. The first car Ferdinand made was fully electric. It was 1898. Who would have thought that the electric car industry had its beginning 120 years ago? This car was called C2, later called Porsche P1, and was powered by three horsepower electric motor with top speed of 35 km per hour and range around 79 km. Only four pieces of this model were built. Fact number three. Second car developed by Porsche was hybrid. It was a vehicle commissioned by Englishman E.W. Hart in 1900s. The car broke several speed records, winning the Exelberg Rally in 1901. It was said that it showed great speed when was allowed to spring. However, those cars had very heavy weights, about 1800 kilograms, and that proved to be the biggest obstacle. That weight caused difficulties when going uphill. The hybrid vehicle reached 56 km per hour. Due to heavy weight and limited battery life, further development of this project was abandoned. Gasoline-powered vehicles proved to be much more practical. Fact number 4. Later, Ferdinand was offered a job in Daimler as chief technical director. He accepted the offer and moved to Stuttgart, Germany in 1923. Daimler merged with Mercedes in 1926 to form Daimler-Benz company. There, Porsche developed several models, the most famous being the model 2780, better known as Prince Harry. It had 85 horsepower engine and won three first places in racing competitions. Porsche also constructed 30 horsepower model Maya, named after famous Mercedes sister. The Maya model is one of the most famous car in automotive industry. Fact number five, Ferdinand had an idea to create a small light car, but the idea was not popular at the time, as everybody was craving for higher speeds and bigger engines. Due to Great Depression, in 1929, Ferdinand left the company and founded his own consulting firm in 1931. He hired other engineers who left their jobs back then. Fact number six. In 1933, Adolf Hitler announced a plan to motorize whole Germany nation. He said that every German citizen will either own a car or tractor. From this announcement came the program to create Car for the People, which in German language is Volkswagen. The Daimler-Benz company received half a million marks for this project and Porsche became the director of the project. This is how the Type 12 came to be, later gained the name of Beetle. This design was very similar to Tatra car, produced by the time by Hans Ledwinek. In particular, the models Tatra uh, V57 and Tatra 97. Tatra later sued Porsche, claiming also patent infringement of cooling system and rear engine placement. The Volkswagen Auto was created. 
Porsche also had to accept German citizenship in 1934, as the Nazi ideology required him to be a German citizen. Fact number seven. Since he was the greatest German engineer, he also had to join the Nazi party. Later, Hitler commissioned him to develop war machines. Porsche created tank, later known as Tiger, in 1942, and anti-aircraft mobile gun. Fact number eight. After the war in 1945, Porsche was asked to continue designing cars for the people in France as part of war reparation for the country. Later, he also worked as a designer for a Renault company. Fact number nine. In 1949, Porsche returned to Stuttgart. He wanted to start a company, but since banks were not lending money at the time in Germany, it was under American embargo. His son, Ferry Porsche, took the design of 356 model and visited automobile dealers. He collected money for the production up front. As the reputation of his father was widely known, dealers agreed. They produced 78,000 vehicles in the next 70 years. Porsche was also hired to consult the production of Beetle in newly founded Volkswagen company. Fact number 10. Ferdinand Porsche visited Henry Ford's Detroit company several times during this period. He learned of Ford's innovation and applications on the production line and work system. He was impressed by how workers and managers treated each other as equals in Ford's manufacture. Improving the production line was one of the Ferdinand's major goals. Changing conventional work methods later contributed to Porsche's success. Fact number 11. In 1949, the first car bearing Porsche name hit the road. It was Porsche 356. Only 52 copies of these classic beauties were made, making them highly prized today among collectors. Fact number 12. Porsche logo. The Porsche logo radiates royalty. It is the coat of arms of Free State of Wittenberg, the former Weimar Germany where the company was founded. Fact number 13. To appreciate dominance of Porsche in motorsports, we must mention the mythical Porsche 917. This is the car that gave Porsche his first wins at Le Mans race in 1917 and 1971. This car holds the record for number of victories in 24 hours Le Mans race with 19 wins. Fact number 14. Porsche 911. Porsche 911 was created in Stuttgart factory and presented for the first time in 1963. It is the brainchild of Ferdinand Porsche's grandson, Ferry Porsche. It is reported that Ferry have said, At first I looked around, but I couldn't find the car I dreamed of, so I decided to build it for myself. Its unique design with air-cooled engine and 2 plus 2 seats turned out to be very attractive for the people. The first model had six-cylinder boxer engine generating 130 horsepower. Between the 1960s and 70s, Porsche created several variants of 911s, such as Targa with opening roof and racing version Carrera, named after Spanish word for race. In 1981, Porsche presented 911 Turbo with powerful 300 horsepower engine which quickly became the representative of the company. 911 continues to evolve to this day, using the best technological innovations while still sticking to its original design. Through decades, evolution of Porsche 911 has become an iconic sports car for the road, with some of the best performance and luxury. Today, it is the best-selling car in its category. Fact number 15. Today, Porsche has returned to producing hybrid cars like 918 Spider and electric cars like Porsche Taycan. You can say that to the point where Grandma Ferdinand began his journey. Porsche has won more than 30,000 races worldwide, more than any other automaker in the world. At the beginning of the 21st century, Porsche embarked on a new journey entering SUV market with its Cayenne model. It was a bold move that paid huge dividends. That's all for today, guys.
about iconic automotive brand Porsche created by Ferdinand Porsche who built his electric car in 1898. Let us know uh, what do you think about the brand and its history. Is it discouraging for you or it doesn't matter? See you guys in next episodes.